Mary hosted an Independence Day celebration. The party celebrated more than the founding of America. It celebrated their farm life. WENY's Max Coven is here with the details. Good evening, Max. Good evening, Alexandria. Yeah, the farm sanctuary is home to a few hundred farm animals, and these farm friends are now free after surviving exploitation and cruelty. Today we are having our picnic, which is an alternative to what many people will be doing on the July 4th holiday. We encourage people to see animals as friends, not food. Gene Barr, the president and CEO of the farm, says all 500 animals at the farm sanctuary were rescued from the slaughter industry. For example, pigs in the United States are killed at six months old. On average, they weigh around 240 pounds when they are slaughtered. But this safe haven of a farm houses quite a few happy residents. We have ducks, geese, chickens, roosters, turkeys, pigs, cows, sheep, goats, everyone. From the ducks to the pigs that were celebrated at the picnic, each animal has a backstory. Since each animal here is rescued from a very specific situation, there are definitely residents that we have where you can see that trauma with them. Um, there are some animals who are very open to human touch and really love the interaction. And there are other ones who really, really struggle with that because it's been humans who have traumatized them in the past. The farm sanctuary has two locations in the United States, one in Watkins Glen and one in the city of Acton, California. The Farm Sanctuary began their rescuing journey in 1986. So Farm Sanctuary started by rescuing animals out of trash cans and out of piles of dead animals. And once they come here, they're our friends. We get to enjoy their company. They get to enjoy their lives. And it's a win-win. It's good for the animals and it's good for us. If you have a family pet at home, remember this. They are not that different than cats and dogs. You know, farm animals, just like other animals, have feelings. The sanctuary wants everyone to know why their residents can call this farm home. This is where they come to live. This is sanctuary for them. This is freedom. This is peace. This is them having agency and choosing to live out their lives exactly how they want to do it. And no matter who you are, Farm Sanctuary is encouraging everyone to think about what they eat on a day-to-day -day basis. And Alexandra, I can assure you after visiting the farm today, they are living their best life. Each and every animal just wanted to be pet, loved, and enjoy their time roaming free.